Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to create a Behance portfolio like this in GIMP. So let's get started. First, we are going to go to a browser and just use any browser you want. And you can visit this website, graphicburger.com. You can visit any website you want. Just go to the mockup section and just download any mockup you want. Okay, you can download any mockup. Sometimes they are free, sometimes they are just sponsored product. But you can get it for free. They might ask you to sign up, so it's okay if you want to, and you can get some free mockups. Okay, after you have got uh, downloaded a free mockup, just open it in GIMP, and after opening in GIMP, you will see it like this. Uh, when you just expand the layer, you will see it has multiple options like light and shadows, and it will have a designated layer for you to put your design. So you can just put any text you want like this. I will just put it like eighty dot. Okay, it's kept. I will make it smaller, eighty one. Okay. So now I will increase its size. I will make it to four hundred, I guess, or six hundred. 600 works fine i guess after getting this i will just if you see if you can see the difference in video i guess you can see its color changes when i just make a layer visible or invisible it adds light and shadow but keep in mind that after when you are trying to save it you have to maintain a designated resolution okay it should be greater than one uh, 1300 okay so you can use your crop tool to just make it of a size like 1300 and or I will go with 1920 okay 1980 1920 into 180 okay so after you have done made it like this so you can crop the layer like you want okay you can just make it uh, crop it like you want uh, it's too bigger currently so if you just create a new layer or you can just export it and then just import it into another layer and i will just try to make it i will save it and i will just create a new layer document of size 1920 into 180 okay you can go with any resolution but i'm going with this one so i will just i already did that so i will just import this layer okay i will import this layer and you can just make it uh, resize it okay by using the scale tool you can pick scale tool from it by shift by pressing shift plus s also you can do it and you can just resize it to this size of your layer size that you want it to be it might be bigger than that than the current layer you are presenting you just need to slide it in between okay so after doing this you will be done with and you can export it similarly you can create other designs we will show you some some so that you can create your own you just need to go to bench and you can just search any one you want okay so like you can go to visit Pense. Just you can use any browser. I am just using Station currently. So just you can go to. You can just search branding. Okay, you can click and you can search for branding. And you can just get an example of how to create like the you can use animations it depends on you basically you can similarly create a get an idea and then create your own way of presenting so by doing this i will just set up some examples okay okay i will just create a new there is two way to create a document for uploading it to Behance. So you can firstly create a really big uh, like this directly. You can create one 
exactly which is which is which has a height like 9000 or 1080 pixel okay so it can be that big or you can break it into small parts then you can combine it into a bigger one so for creating a new one we'll just go to make one of 1920 and you can make it like this okay and click okay you can make it like this big and you can just then create a box like this and maintain and maintain your ratio like this and you can just then type a test like it is q and you can change its color okay and i will lower it and lower it more okay similarly you can then again do similar things here you can just i will just duplicate this layer again okay and you can shorter this layer okay this layer you can see it's really big to shorter it you can just take the crop tool and you can just select it current layer only and after selecting current layer only you can just select equals to none and you can just select this layer oh i did it background now you can crop it oh it's in if i meant if you have created another layer like this which is this much big only so you can crop it again so that it does not take that much size like i have created another layer it is behind it so to crop this layer you can just make and it like it make it like this a rectangle covering the black area then press enter and you can see you have cropped this layer to this size only and you can then just fill this layer and similarly you can create another one like this just maintain a ratio okay if you have something of, of a dimension here and a dimension here so i did a what i created a new one i i made smaller smaller parts then combined it into a bigger one so go to file go to new and i went with this one 1920 into 180 and created elements like this here so i will create one more okay to show you guys whenever you have uh, having a problem you can go to view and or you can go to image and go to guides and new guide by percentage you can set up guides for your help like you can set one horizontally you can set one vertically i will go with one vertically and just select this one okay just get a selection here it can go outside and i will just color it with this edit and color with foreground color and then i went with a text tool and i typed just here this q and lowered its size 200 i guess 100 works and just i will change its justification okay now just copy it again and just Select, paste, copy again and paste. You can copy with Ctrl C and you can paste with Ctrl V. Okay, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, Ctrl C, and select and Ctrl V. I will just play it again. Okay, I guess this works and I will just. move it around okay and i will just lower its color i will go to text tool again and pick this color here this works i guess
yes this works and i will just duplicate it and just take the move tool and just try to take it here okay after just press the text tool again and you can change its color like this you can select this color and i will just make it a little bit darker click ok ok i did not select it i will just click it again and just darken it a bit and click ok the color did change uh, selecting it okay now now it worked so you can i just did that and i can just again create another text like this and type type of it's not creating another layer so i guess i was working on my new layer only so i will just take the move tool and just delete this layer that i created Press space and I will just slide it down a bit. Go to the text tool and just select type. typography here. Okay, after typing typography, I will make it size 50. I guess 50 works. I will just slide it above. Okay, I will make it bigger capital. I mean, not bigger capital letters and I will make it of size 30 I guess 30 works after making it 30 After making it 30, I will just take a rectangle tool, this rectangular selection, and just create a new layer. Click OK, select this layer, and I will just create a rectangle here, okay? A small rectangle, and go to edit and fill with foreground color, and go to select and go to none, okay? So you can see I created something like this. You can uh, this must be a pattern okay sorry and a typography and this must be a pattern similarly you can also i will just create another one go to file go to new and 1920 into 180 again okay it depends on on you what resolution you want i am just going with this one again i will just go and fill with, go with fill with foreground color okay let's create something black i will just type again 80 skew make my color go white okay increase the size i guess lower it a bit 50 i guess 200 i guess this works and i will just go to alpha to selection for this and go to select and just shrink it okay i will shrink it with 10 pixel i will see and pixels are too much i will press ctrl z again i will go to select and go to shrink again this time i will try 5 pixel okay i guess 5 pixel works i will press delete and go to select and go to none if you want it more or less you can similarly do it okay if you want these strokes to be lower just go to shrink and just press ctrl and z and you can just again and just you can lower your shrinking value okay you can lower it to three if you like 
this will also work it depends on you and similarly you can create this also this is the similar process uh, you here I just presented my text you can also present text as you want I just typed the my typeface that I used here and then just showed how the capital letters and small letter will look in it and similarly I did all these things so that was also a mockup that I used and just put my value uh, put everything I wanted to show off that how my logo will look uh, in normally using game okay so after doing all this what I'm gonna do is just you can go to your Behance, Okay, you can just create your profile and just I will go to my profile and will click on this create a project after clicking on create a project it will just load an editor I will click on upload files and I will select all the files that I want here I will go with this oh, I will go with this I will go with this 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 fine and just click open after clicking open you can see but the thing is I want this branding idea to be above okay I want this branding idea to go above rather than below so what I'm gonna do is just go click on this and go to reorder project after reordering the project I will just select this and just drag it above okay I will just drag it above to here and click on save new order and voila you are done guys you can similarly create a portfolio for you and just you can just save or continue or preview it okay I guess this looks good and just click continue you will have to select a cover image it depends on you I will just go with this one you can use anything I will just go with personal branding okay just go to crop and continue and you can just fill these things according to you I will just make it GIMP and Inkscape and just click done I do not have any corner copyright all is a all rights yep. okay and I will just go to publish okay creative fields I will go with branding and graphic design okay this, I guess this works go to publish and guys we are done I can just share it and promote it wherever you want so that's how you can create your own branding portfolio on Behance using GIMP. So you can just create images as you like. There will be two ways. If you can, you want, you can create your whole portfolio using GIMP by creating a really big document. Or you can create it in small small parts and then join it, or just use those small small parts and just directly upload it to your bands so thank you guys for watching hope you liked it and i will see you again bye guys like comment subscribe